I'm Sean Conley. Uh, I've been with Hortonworks uh, since 2011, short, shortly after our founding. We bring an open enterprise Hadoop platform to market that we call Hortonworks Data Platform. So it's really about making the market um, and enabling solutions in the market. It's not about selling a product. If you look at the traditional either business or IT organization that's adopting technology from any enterprise software company, they want to have the opportunity to shape the roadmap. They want to be able to go to a customer advisory board, for example, and say, you know what, I've got these five security problems. I need you to help me with that, right? Hortonworks is able to have, host, and chair those sessions because we do our work through these committers. These committers can shape roadmaps. If we're going to make it easier to consume, we now have something that can get as close to the origination of data and manage it through forks and joins and curation process as possible in this thing called Apache NiFi and Hortonworks Dataflow. For our technology, as well as our partner technology, it's built open, right? So you can add in your own elements to a Ambari stack. It can provision your technology. So we have many partners who take advantage of the Ambari limo ride, if you will. The latest releases of the technology have a very easy to use interface. In the case of Hive, like the Stinger initiative, it added interactive query, acid transactions, so you could do updates. And the, the key here is to be able to set up one centralized architecture so you don't have to replicate and have silos of clusters. Hadoop originally was built around batch processing, but the Yarn component has unlocked interactive and real-time components to plug natively in ours as well as our partners. So we have, I think, over 70 certified Yarn solutions for streaming and for memory analytics and others that can run natively in the cluster. We bring our own apps to the table, Spark, Storm, HBase, Hive, MapReduce, or what have you. That's kind of like our Microsoft Office suite. The case studies I'm going to show you represents what I think is 100% of our customers. They start in one particular area, but they end up jumping to additional use cases once they bring this capability online. Right? So as they bring on more data and more capacity, they're able to maintain a cost curve that, that is just flat out you know, game changing for them. It frees up dollars for them to reinvest. And we see use cases on the predictive analytics side that feel like science fiction, right? You're, you're seeing doctors being rerouted when they're doing bed calls in an emergency room based on sensor predictions on real-time monitoring of patients. 